Welcome to a whole new episode of Biz Buzz 24 by 7 and Calcalling National and Calcalling TV. Uh, today, we are really proud and privileged to have a very, very distinguished guest uh, amidst us uh, who has joined uh, from all the way from Bhutan. Uh, welcome, Mr. Jackson Dupka. Welcome to the show. Actually, Mr. Dupka is one of those rare persons who has left his government and private sector pushy jobs and taken up the task of you know turning this world more beautiful, more livable and more habitable uh, for all of us. Welcome Mr. Dupka. Uh, if I may start with asking you uh, what actually are your goals or vision of your organization that you have floated called GVC. It's Global Village Community, right? If I'm not mistaken. Uh, very good evening to everyone. So I'm very happy to speak about uh, uh, my initiatives, uh, in particular, uh, the concept of a Global Village Connection. So GVC means Global Village Connection. connection so right, right. Actually, the idea is very simple. So the vision and mission is to create a better world for everyone. So we have come up with this uh, GVC framework for a better world. So we have this uh, six broad objectives, uh, three dimensions of GVC. So the six broad, broad objectives covers almost everything. So, uh, for example, we also have this, uh, you know, like good governance as one of the six uh, broad objectives. So it's a complete uh, format and a holistic approach to transform the world. And uh, let me tell that uh, why uh, in the first place, why did I uh, start this concept? Because I found that uh, there are thousands of organizations and millions of people trying to do something for this world. But uh, <coughs> our uh, world is not improving, actually. It's becoming, you know, like worse. We have so many global problems, climate change, poverty, hunger, and so many things. So. Now, I thought that uh, what is lacking is that we, we are lacking in terms of this global force which should be capable of transforming this world. So we are in the process of building this network and team so that we can create something very huge so that we can tackle all the problems of this world uh, in a united uh, manner. So that's what we are creating right now, trying to unite the people of the world. So you follow United Nations Sustainable Goals, right? Broadly. Yeah, whatever we are doing, uh, uh, I think almost all the sustainable, 17 sustainable development goals are covered. And uh, the primary focus right now is to address climate change and also address the issue of uh, food security. So these two are very, very important in our agenda because uh, why do we address food security? Because uh, the people of the world needs to eat. And if you don't have enough food to eat, that's how you know we have no chance to survive in this world. So we have to address this uh, uh, food security as one of the top priorities of GVC. And also to, uh, you know, like uh, reverse this effect of climate change. So uh, we would like to ensure that uh, yeah, every country in the world makes this effort to do something about this climate change. You walk towards sustainable goals, you walk towards good governance is one of your key areas, as you rightly mentioned. So you, you will walk in these areas across the world or in few particular pockets of the world? No, I think, uh, you know, like uh, we will work globally, but uh, uh, I think uh, we have to now uh, focus in, uh, you know, like uh, different parts of the world where you know, there is urgency of this climate change and uh, even to address this hunger. So our focus will be, you know, based on the different themes in the different parts of the world. For example, my country, Bhutan, is already doing very well. So. We are the only carbon negative country in the world with a forest cover of uh, more than 70 percent and uh, Bhutan is already doing very very great we have this concept called gross national happiness it's a development philosophy and uh, uh, this concept is actually you know like about conservation of the culture preservation of environment 
uh, a good governance and sustainable development and sustainable living. So uh, much before, you know, like uh, taking actions uh, by other countries, Bhutan was already on that part of sustainability long time back. So many uh, decades ago, our, you know, like uh, Fort King coined this idea of JNH and we have in place very sound environmental policies. So once you, you know, establish this large network of like-minded people across the world or form this Better World Alliance, BWA, your next step will be actual action, I mean, on the ground zero, right? First building yeah, of the so, team, then getting into action. Yeah, yeah, so many people want to see, you know, some concrete actions on the ground, okay? But uh, we are very, very different. Ours is a complete format to transform the world, okay? So we have to, you know, come up with our holistic approach, okay? So we have to take care about almost all issues. That's why we have these 12 thematic projects, okay? So team building is very important, as I said. And uh, this is one of the three dimensions of GVC. So the first is to unite the people and create this massive force, okay? A platform whatsoever. And the second is to, you know, create this global advocacy of different issues that we are facing. And number three is to take action. So in order to take actions, uh, of course, you know, like the first thing is to have this, you know, like human resources, okay? Like uh, this is the most important thing that I consider because people think that uh, money, the financial resources is the most important thing. But for me, once we are united in purpose to create a better world, with our different teams of experts, you know, from different parts of the world. So that's how we create the pool of, you know, expertise, okay? And most of uh, the people who are engaged with GVC will work on a voluntary basis. So these, all these initiatives, uh, they are going to be the initiative of the people of the world, okay? So after becoming together, in togetherness, we will solve all the problems of this world. You also have plans to have uh, or set up you know, small community centers in different parts of the world to, uh, you know, spread awareness and train people to spread the mission. Uh, how to go about it? How how are you planning to go about? It? Actually, actually, this is uh, uh, one of the twelve thematic projects. Okay, it will fall under that. Uh, uh, to create sustainable and uh, thriving communities uh, all over the world. So in it, you know, if you create such communities all over the world, this is going to solve a majority of the problems of the people of the world, because uh, this will be a very unique, uh, you know, like a community place where everybody who have problems, okay, can come there and stay. They can, of course, contribute in terms of their you know, like uh, labor force and skills and whatsoever, okay? So it will be a very, again, holistic center where one can learn anything. This will also offer some alternate forms of education. People who cannot take a formal education can come here and learn the skills, you know, various skills, okay? They can also get knowledge and, yeah. <clears throat> and this will be a very, some kind of a living happiness center where everybody will be very happy and we will, you know, like uh, live uh, through collective effort. So this uh, community uh, is very much required uh, in different parts of the world. And this uh, kind of, you know, like concept is very much required in the United States as well, because there are so many people and, uh, you know, uh, suffering even in the United States, because there are so many homeless people. And if we create some kind of a living such uh, centers of hope, uh, you know, then this can actually solve almost, you know, like a uh, uh, majority of the problems of the world. You often talk about uh, creating or spreading the awareness of capitalism with responsibility. What do you actually mean by that? Because is it something like socialistic capitalism or something different? No, it is very simple, okay? So I am promoting this concept of, of responsible capitalism. Uh, many people in the world are talking against capitalism, okay? So it has uh, its own merits and demerits. And uh, 
whatever systems that we have built, you know, at this stage, okay? And this has uh, evolved over so many years, so many decades, and so many centuries. And we cannot at once, you know, do away with all this concept and this thing, okay? So uh, this, uh, the concept is going to offer some kind of a transition or some kind of an alternative solution. Because when I say responsible capitalism is capitalism with values and responsibilities, okay? Uh, when I say responsibilities, responsible for the mother earth, responsible for the welfare of the global citizens, okay? So if we inject, uh, you know, incorporate this concept into capitalism, I think then that is some kind of a middle, you know, like a path or middle but solutions, okay? So, and yeah. Uh, and uh, when I say this, uh, uh, you know, about this concept, so uh, the rich people in this world, like the millennials, billionaires, so I expect them to contribute some kind of a social fund, uh, or they can contribute in terms of tax. And this actually uh, creation of fund can help the people to solve the problems of the people of the world. So I think this is uh, really, you know, like a very good, you know, alternative. You also have plans to start some incubation model for budding entrepreneurs, aspiring entrepreneurs. Right. What actually your plans are? Yeah, so, yeah, of course, there are so many ecosystems, okay, for entrepreneurs and so many other things, but again, this is not enough, okay? Our idea is to reach to people in every corner of the world, even to the grassroots levels, okay, people at uh, the rural parts of uh, the world, and uh, uh, that's why we would like to create. We are creating this uh, one as one of the special wing, the entrepreneurship network, okay. So through this network, we will build teams in various parts of the world, so that we can mentor and help those young entrepreneurs. And uh, our idea is to also create some kind of a funding mechanism or ecosystem, okay. So. We will be creating some kind of a uh, investors ecosystem, okay? But again, uh, it will be very, very different from the present models, okay? So our idea is even, you know, incorporate or uh, bring on board uh, small time, uh, you know, like investors, okay? Even you can become uh, part of this investors ecosystem. You can contribute any amount you like, okay? So these are the kind of so many new ideas uh, that we are thinking about entrepreneurship. Do you think that even aspiring entrepreneurs, budding entrepreneurs, they can take up this uh, whole initiative of or weaving this social, you know, responsible model into their entrepreneurial journey? Yes, yes. So anyhow, every one of us uh, must be responsible for uh, the uh, overall welfare of this uh, the people of the earth and also the environment. So yeah, this model should should work for everyone equally. But uh, uh, to create a very huge capital and fund, I think you know, like, uh, we expect uh, these rich people to contribute more. But uh, this model should work for everyone. You always come up with very simple model which anyone can pursue. For instance, you often talk about you know, having your own gardening at your own place, the place where you stay in, and then probably develop a farming model. And you always say that there is no rocket science in it. So, how should one go about it? Yeah, so I started this, you know, like uh, farming or gardening activities, you know, uh, last year when this uh, lockdown you know happened because of this covid pandemic okay so that's how i was very much serious and uh, within just few months you know i could have fresh vegetables uh, from my garden of course it's all organic and i also later created a vertical you know like a uh, farm you know with the uh, uh, use of this bamboos and this thing so uh, i'm having very fresh and clean vegetables so uh, every person on this earth should try to contribute towards this initiative, of course. Maybe they cannot uh, <clears throat> make a full-time farming, but, uh, you know, as a part-time hobby, uh, they can do, uh, you know, like gardening in terraces, in house, in our ports and all these things. So it will somehow, you know, in a, maybe in a small way, help to achieving the uh, food security of any country. And of course, 
uh, it's very important to learn such skills because it's very important you know, for survival. So I would encourage everyone, of course, uh, to grow organic food, okay, and uh, to grow your, you know, like own food uh, in whatever manner we can. I think it's very, very important and we should encourage uh, more people to participate, you know, even people in the urban areas, in the cities, uh, they can do some kind of, uh, you know, like a uh, yeah, small uh, time farming. So I encourage everybody to participate in this. Would you be interested in joining hands with some of the Indian organizations, Indian companies, or for that matter, Indian startups who would also like to contribute towards this sustainable goal, towards this goal of making this world more beautiful and more livable? Oh, yeah. Every, everyone, everyone are invited to join the, our initiatives, okay? So, uh, we have this collaborative platform called Better World Alliance. Any individual, any company, any organization can, you know, join to create a better world. No problem. So we are also, you know, forming this uh, trade and economic committee in every country in the world. The idea is to facilitate and promote uh, uh, trade because now there are so many problems that people are facing when we <coughs> uh, cross uh, country or border trades. Okay. So we would like to come up with some simple solutions, how to facilitate payment and even, you know, business verification because many people, they suffer from, you know, like, uh, uh, I mean, like uh, this, uh, I mean, bad uh, business practices, okay? Yeah, some people from one country might send some advance or payment uh, to another countries, but then, you know, they fail to, they just disappear, fail to, you know, deliver the products or services. So it's kind of so, 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 you know, like uh, part of the, you know, like global problem that we are facing. So we would like to fill that gap. Uh, here I am for every country, so <clears throat> we would like to initiate better country project. Okay, so uh, this every teams, even uh, when it comes to the business, trade and economy. So this will be incorporated in our agenda because uh, uh, we are soon, once we have uh, almost uh, 70 or 80 percent of the team. So we would like to initiate, for example, in India, better India, like mission better India. So we discuss about unemployment, uh, climate change, and so many other social issues like corruption as well. So everything will exactly fit uh, in that agenda. So you have uh, heard Mr. Jackson Dupka, a man from a neighboring, which is very close by, a beautiful picturesque country called Bhutan, snow-capped uh, mountainous terrain. Uh, it has been a really fascinating story hearing from you, Mr. Dupka. Thank you very much for sharing your story that your vision with all of us. I'm sure we'll get more opportunities, more occasions to meet and talk and let our viewers know about your fascinating story and the initiatives that you take up. Uh, thank you so much once again for joining us. I'm sure we'll get more opportunities to meet and talk. Thank you, thank you very much.